the US and EU are refusing to recognize the weekend's parliamentary election. <laughs> Venezuela. With the opposition refusing to take part, the majority of votes went to parties supporting current President Nicolas Maduro. The result doesn't represent the will of the Venezuelan people. It's difficult to call that a victory because there was an overwhelming rejection of the regime with the majority boycotting the vote. <laughs> This farce was nothing more than an attempt to install a complicit puppet National Assembly beholden only to Maduro, while destroying the country's only remaining democratic institution truly representative of the Venezuelan people. Why are you gay? Venezuela's National Assembly was seen as the opposition's last legislative stronghold. New aspect Juan Guaido declared himself interim president last year and used to be head of the assembly. But following this election, Maduro has consolidated his power in a way he insists was democratic. We have complied with the constitution. We have complied with this constitution. Five years later, I have to say, we have a new National Assembly, the product of a popular vote. The people have elected their new lawmakers, and we have had a tremendous and gigantic electoral victory. Washington rejects the legitimacy of the current Venezuelan government and demands fair and democratic elections. And while Juan Guaido has been recognized by many foreign powers as interim president, he so far struggled to gain significant political traction within his own country. We've got the views of public policy expert Andrew King. The people in the democratic majority in Venezuela re repre uh, recognize Guando for what he is, which is a puppet of, of the Washington consensus of U.S. imperialism and U.S. hegemony. And they've continued to show time and again in the face of, of a relentless protracted war that they will uh, support the socialist government and oppose the uh, Esqualidos and the, the upper class elites in Venezuela who are a tool of the IMF. Uh, in Washington, the war against the Venezuelan people has been bipartisan. The foreign policy establishment is, is bipartisan, the Pentagon budget and the, uh, the aggression against anti-imperialist nations. So unfortunately, the neoliberal Democrats are more hawkish even than Republicans on some foreign policy issues. I think the sanctions will not change. That's why we need a massive and robust people's movement, uh, you know, to say hands off Venezuela and recognize their, their elections. Make America great.